We're absolutely fucking class. We're back. We're second in the Premier League. We're class, Charlotte Robson. We're fucking class. I've missed you. Uh, well, <laughs> you, you missed me on your screen. <laughs> you see me quite regularly. Um, my voice is like this because we're so class. I am celebrating goals. I also had some gins on Christmas, which doesn't help. I always get a bad voice when I drink alcohol, but... Um, Mostly the girls. Mostly the girls. Charlotte was at Leicester. This isn't even her living room. It's their living room, Leicester City's, which we have defiled. We've ruined it. We've ruined Christmas for Leicester. I'm fucking buzzing so many times over my adult and child life. Have Newcastle been fucking dog shit on Boxing Day? No longer. No more. The no feast more. of St. Stephen, Charlotte. <laughs> We had it in Leicester. We had it, it in Leicester. Feast of goals. Uh, no, it was it was amazing. I was there. Um, or the only word I can keep saying is amazing. I just keep saying it. it was amazing. Also, can I just say, I'm aware what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but it's the comfiest stuff to to wear. So, hey, if you can't wear your own branded clothes when you're second in the league, Charlotte. When can when you? When can you? Second in the league, everyone. Say it with me. Second in the Premier League. Not third, not fourth, not fucking 16th or some shit like we're used to. Second in the league. It feels good, Charlotte. It feels good. Feel validated just in yeah. life in general. It's worth well, we've living. been talking. Alex thinks that we could win the Premier yeah. League. And uh, you know what? We could. It doesn't mean we will. And it doesn't mean we think that we will. But I think we could. Look at the form we're in. The goals were scoring. This is without Callum Wilson in the squad. This is yeah. without, you know, Alexander Isak, who was our record signing. Ugh, the possibilities are endless. I'm really pleased for the lads because not only have they gone to Leicester and won 3 0, they get to play probably Helios on the way back <laughs> on the bus. You know, Alan's on the coach. He says, Merry Christmas, or what do they say? They, the French. The French, why Noel? Why Noel? Here's a game of Helios for you all. You have to download the app as well. Yeah. And buy NFTs, please. Yeah. That's what he tells them. And it's a time of good cheer, Charlotte. I'm fucking buzzing. It's great to be back. TFTV is back permanently while the season's on. <laughs> We're fucking for a bit. Class. I don't think you've said it yet. I have time. Oh, okay. I started by saying we're fucking class. I can say it again. I can't say it enough. <laughs> so I can say it again. Don't worry. Point number two. Yes. What happened, Charlotte? Some of our lads went away from this region and they yeah. were in class. There was, um, there was this like tournament elsewhere <laughs> that they went to. Um, some of our class lads went to the World Cup. Fabian Cher, Bruno Gimaraes, uh, Nick Pope, um, uh, Kieran Trippier and Callum Wilson all were selected for their national sides. So they went off to Qatar to, to do the World Cup. Um, and like, weren't class? Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think it's fair. Well, fair. I love this, them. Is a, this is a fair lads. show. This is a fair show. Yeah, it's fair. We're unbiased, apart from <laughs> extremely biased. <laughs> apart from our extreme, uh, unambiguous bias towards our boys. <laughs> and yeah, they came back, didn't they? They, they? they they went away. They weren't class, and they've come back, Charlotte. What the, what what happened? Why? So they didn't play loads, most yeah. of them. Um, and when they did play it, it wasn't it wasn't class. And I was a bit like, oh, what are you doing out there to our boys? Like Tite, is that how you say his name? Yeah, it is. And Southgate and Swiss man. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, but um, it's okay because they've come back yeah. and they're immediately class again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Fabian Cher, he, he, had, he had a tough couple of games out there, a couple of goals. May have been his fault. I, don't, I wasn't watching, so I wouldn't know. It didn't happen, Fabian. It's okay. Um, but he didn't have a hunky Sven Botman alongside him. No, he did didn't. He, you he know, didn't have Dan Byrne. Home comforts. Because yeah. this is home now for these guys. This 100%. Is home. They're home. They've come home, class. You have a theory about what Eddie Howe said to them? Yeah, I think Eddie Howe was like, don't be class. Like, <laughs> lure everybody into a false sense of security. Come home quicker. Um, you know, and I think at that theory extends to the Bournemouth Cup game before, because we played Leicester yesterday, before we played Leicester, we played Bournemouth, and it was like, fine, and we won, obviously, but wasn't, like, it wasn't a game for the ages, and I was a bit like, uh-oh, 
uh oh, well, we've had this break. Like, are we going to have to wait a little bit to get the momentum up? But I think it was all mind games from Mad Dog and Eddie. And I think it was like, don't be totally class. Just be a class enough to win. Don't be totally class. And then Leicester will think we can take these guys. <laughs> and then they'll be wrong. So wrong. Yeah. To be fair, Leicester, they gave us a game for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds more than a lot of clubs this season. Can anyone give us a fucking game? Someone, someone give us a game. I don't know, Leeds, uh, fine if you don't, by the way. Yeah, Absolutely fine with me. Arsenal probably will give us a game. We'll see. We'll worry about that after Leeds. It's a new year. It's 2023. It's not real yet. Yeah, doesn't exist. Point number three, which definitely does exist. Um, is it boring? Is it's it there. boring being so class? Yeah. You tell me you were there. Right. So this is um, a point I was sort of trying to make that in this it's it's in game management. Right. So it's not like it's it's still your tactics. It's still the plan. But in the second half of the Leicester game, it was just very clear that we were the dominant side. Leicester didn't have any shots on target till like nearly the end of the game. And um and like there were points yesterday where I was like, it's a bit, boring. It's a bit boring. Like <laughs> we're just so good. It's so easy. It, it ties back to what you say. Like when will someone give us a game? Well, this is the thing, Charlotte. People, I don't know who they are, but people said sometime somewhere that this will be a good game. Leicester will be in Newcastle. Be a good game. Good one this. Take a point. Really take a point. This is the thing. Number one, no such thing as a good game that we don't win. Mm. Doesn't exist. So I reject that narrative. And number two, like you were bored and happy. It's it's yeah. new. It's new to you. I wasn't sitting there like, God, I wish I'd brought my Helios board game <laughs> like to pass the time. I was enjoying the crowd who were having the best time. I was totally happy watching our class lads just be class in like s second gear. Is that what? Is that the right way of doing it? Well, maybe. What's the right gear? Yeah, I don't know. Type in the comments the gear. Is it first gear? Is it third gear? What's it like? Sometimes it's worse to be in fifth gear than it is in third. I don't know. Yeah, I'm never sure which is right. I don't so. drive sticks, so. Oh, all right. <laughs> Mr. America. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure which it is, but we were not We were in a low gear of like <laughs> effort. <laughs> oh, Leicester City, what have you done? What have you done? I brain. just think, you know, Charlotte, it's what can we do in the face of such mediocrity? Because we are so fucking good. You know, we're, we're out there. We're like, fine, Lester. We'll have a look. We'll have a look at what you've got. And some lad's just hanging a foot out when Joe Layton's in the air. He's just, he's just putting his foot out. And it's like, okay, we'll give you a game. Yeah. We'll give you a game. We'll, you know, we'll, we will see out... We'll manage the fuck out of the situation. Mm. You go home, Leicester fans. Beat the traffic. You beat the traffic. You can't beat the traffic if you all leave at the same time. <laughs> I was thinking this yesterday. You can't beat the traffic if everybody leaves <laughs> at 80 minutes. The traffic's still going to be bad. <laughs> yeah, that's their problem, not ours. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, let's do hashtag Ask TFTV. So many people are leaving us hashtag Ask TFTVs. It made my Christmas... Um, so before nice. Newcastle improved it mm. tremendously by smashing Leicester City on their own patch. So thanks for all of them. We do read them. And we talk, me and Charlotte, we have a little chat off air about some of the ones we don't do on the screen for you guys at TFTV. This one's from Yuya, and it was a month ago when you left it, because that's time last time we did one of these. Uh, he says, um, you, you're out and about minding your own business. No one is around you, Charlotte. Then out of nowhere, you see none other than Mad Dog Tyndall walk into a tattooist. You go to the window to make sure it is him 100% because he wouldn't you know, be embarrassing to be wrong. Um, Mad Dog walks to the back of the tattooist for privacy. Uh, my question is, what kind of tattoo does Jason Mad Dog Tyndall get and where is he getting it done? I assume he means on the body rather than the geographical location of this city. Yeah. Thoughts? I don't know many tattoo artists yeah. in town. Me neither. Um, I think Mad Dog, Mad Dog now knows he's called Mad Dog. Thank you to Mark and Run Geordie Run on Twitter, who did a great commentary at one of the friendlies in Saudi and um, watches this show and calls him Mad Dog on the commentary, on the official commentary. So now I'm terrified for my life, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so either I think he's going to have like Mad Dog, the words tattooed across <laughs> his chest in like... You know, that sort of calligraphy script. Oh, yeah. 
um, or a tattoo of his own face on his back <laughs> so that he's always watching the players, even if he's got his back turned. Oh, I love it. I love it. If he hasn't already done that, you know. Yeah, he may already have that. I was thinking of something boring, like intensity is our identity kind of on his neck. Ooh. Um, but probably, probably because, you know, he, he this is a guy who takes care of himself. He likes a tan. Mm. He's got nice teeth. I don't know if he's going to be getting many tattoos. It's just my view. However, what I he, think he's got tattoos. What he might do is he might go across the knuckles <gasps> with Miggy and Bruno. And it's kind of like, he's like, told the boys, how can we explain Mega Almiron's you know, improvement in fortune? And he's like, basically, boys, if I end up getting you tattooed on my knuckles, you won't get a punch if I'm angry with you because I've got your name on my body. Or it's also like, I've literally put your name on my body for the rest of my life. <laughs> you have to do me proud. Yeah. If you have to You have to play well. Yeah, be, you know, if he gets, you get Helios right here and he'd be saying to ASM, Please press, Alan. <laughs> like I've gone to it's extreme lengths to to please uh. you, um, and uh, and and you still won't press the guy. You know, effectively, I'll have him in the team, but Eddie doesn't agree. No, it's about fitness. It's about competition. It's all yeah. good stuff. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, this has been TFTV. Thank you so much for watching, Charlotte. Rally and call, please. Please leave us comments and likes and subscriptions. <laughs> and if you want to, hashtag AskTFTV, we will answer a question on the next one we do, which will be post leads um, when we've smashed them to smithereens. Um, my voice may be back. We don't know, because if we score loads against leads, it'll probably be in this state again. Uh, but we'll be back. Please like, comment, all of that stuff. Um, we love you. We're happy to be back. Thank you for watching. <laughs>